Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to Free Pattern Friday for July. Yes, I'm here to share some free patterns with you. Three crochet, three knitted patterns. So let's get started. We'll start with the crochet patterns. The first one off the ranks, I quite like this stitch and the look of this pattern. It is the Prima Drama Afghan. Might have to fold it that way. That one, look at that stitch. This would be a great scrap bound project. It does say on the pattern, um, use any yarn. She made it in medium DK, which is a eight ply or three weight, and used a five millimeter crochet hook. Each stitch has a link to a video tutorial. It is perfect for a beginner. Um, the hardest stitch would be the double crochet spike stitch which creates the pattern. The pattern is Crochet Me Lovely by Crochet Me Lovely and there are some links to her um, YouTube channel as well. So that one, if you're an enthusiastic beginner this is a great afghan for you to make. Look at that stitch, that is nice. So next one off the ranks for crochet is one I had made years ago. The Crochet Crowds Ribbed Infinity Cowl by Michael Selleck. One ball of Karen Latte Cake. They made it in Blackberry. I can't remember what the colour of mine is, but here's mine. I have worn this heaps and heaps of times when I have gone to colder climates. I like this because I can wear it as a cowl and if there's wind blowing and my ears are getting cold, it's big enough to pull up over my head. I usually wash latte cakes and when it's almost dry, I give it a bit of a buzz with a blow dryer. It is starting to look a bit worn because I have worn it a lot and it is a few years old. But that is the picture on the pattern. I highly recommend this if you have latte cakes in your yarn stock and you don't know what to do with them. Shop your stash and make the infinity cowl. Now, for those of you who are taking part in Christmas in July or the hashtag Deck Your Halls collaboration, I found a little crochet pattern that's sort of up my alley because Thing is very much a Doctor Who fan. So it's a Christmas tree TARDIS by Nias Parks and Mrs. Morris. That's the one on the front. And then the one I like, because you can actually do the snow on the roof, which I'll probably have to do that. There is a pattern for the snow on the roof to do that one. That's the one I would do. Now it is hollow and you make a little Doctor Who to go inside it. But me personally, I would stuff it and close in the bottom and just have the TARDIS. But I do like that. That is a great little um, Christmas tree ornament, especially for the Deck Your Halls collab that a lot of people are doing. Or if you're doing Christmas in July. Now I've been watching um, Crafty Craig Creations, Jeanette. She's doing Christmas in July vlogs every day and she is making a lot of little amigurumi um, Christmas ornaments. I'll put a link to her video in the description below. Check her out if you're looking for some ideas for your Deck the Halls collab. But that is my first crocheted one, the little Doctor Who TARDIS. So then we move on to knitting. I'm sticking to the Deck the Halls crochet collab and Christmas in July theme. This is one I really like. Now it is knitted by Yarn Inspirations. I'm not sure how I could quite fold it. Okay, it is called Jolly Pickle, Jolly Pickle Knit Ornament. It's a Christmas pickle that you knit. Look at that, isn't it cute? It uses Red Heart Super Saver. Um, they say you can get, out of 198 gram balls, you can get more than 20 pickles if you wanna make that many. Oops, it is a free pattern. 
So it's made in a four weight yarn and that is knitted. Now you crocheters, if you want a crocheted pickle, I suggest you go to Jo's web. I'll put a link to her video. She made a crochet pickle that's really cute and different. But I quite like this knitted one. So there you go. The Jolly Christmas Pickle. I'd never heard of a Christmas pickle till last year when I was on watching someone's channel. So the next one is Green Peacock Shawl by Michelle Miller and it was released in 2012. It, there's not much of a picture. I have to yet again fold it all over. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? That's for a very, very, very talented knitter. So they, she used a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle and she used Knit with Shine, which is 50% merino, 50% tensile and which is a four ply or a fingering weight yarn but i do think this is really really lovely and um, i don't know if i'd have the skills to make it but i just liked it so there you have it the green peacock shawl by michelle miller so if you remember and you've watched um my previous video on my beanie slash beanie binge I told you about my beanie that I tend to make that I sell a lot of on Etsy. This one. Won't be a moment. Sorry, we still have a lot of planes going over. So this is my standard knitted slouch beanie that I tend to use and rely on muscle memory. I do sell a few on Etsy. And I said I would share the pattern with you if I could find a copy because I do believe it's a free pattern. Well, it is. It's called the Men's slouch by shireen nadair it's a canadian pattern the blue brick handcrafts and even though it's a man's slouch i believe all beanies can be made unisex now sorry it's in black and white because i printed it off at home but that's it there so she does quite a big brim like um 22 rows for a two by two rib brim if you like a big brim i tend to do smaller she uses mala brago ario um, which is i think a four ply or a fingering whatever you want to call it and a 3.5 millimeter circular needle i have made this beanie in four ply and eight ply dk weight three weight I've not made it in a four weight because I think a slouch needs a nice drape and I think because of the pattern it would be too heavy. But this is a good an enthusiastic beginner pattern if you want to start knitting it in the round. And you can change it up however you like. I do. This one has three by five, um, two rib. I do less rows, more rows in between the, the ridges just depends on the mood I'm in and what I think it should look like. I try and make them all look unique. And I actually have one of these on my knitting needles for me to take on my trip. Because I think I'm going to need a beanie for the night time in Edinburgh. And I think a slouch beanie might be for me. I don't know. Let's hope so. Guys, that's it for me for Free Pattern Friday. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you try some of these patterns and you post them on Instagram with hashtag Free Pattern Friday AU so I can check you out. Or if you're in our Facebook group, please post a picture there. I'd love to see what you make. So don't forget, check out um, Crafty Craig Clegg Creations with Jeanette if you're doing Deck the Halls collab. She's doing some amazing little Christmas ornaments. I love watching her every day just to see what she's up to. She knits, she crochets, she sews, she does paper art. Very talented. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Um, I'm actually recording this on a Thursday because Friday tomorrow is our agricultural show day. It's a public holiday and I have a lot on to my plate tomorrow, but I'll put this up on Friday. Bye for now.